What would be the abiding characteristic of day two on the UAE tour? Wind, and plenty of it. Well, an effective sandstorm was blowing out there as they went out into the desert, and indeed it made life difficult for a breakaway who were brave enough to take this on. Two intermediate sprints, but inevitably a dash for the line at the Abu Dhabi breakwater after a distance of 176 kilometres. Plenty of loose sand upon the road. To welcome Gazprom Rus Velo, three of their number took on the break. Kuchekov, who was in the break on the opening day, along with Strakov, who'd taken the maximum points in the intermediate sprints, and he was in the mood to enhance his lead in that black jersey on this day. Kirkula, the third of the Gazprom men out front, the Czech champion. But the black jersey it was that just continued to assemble points and looks unbeatable in that competition. Well, as for the chase, in a block headwind, they weren't much minded to actually put in too much stress to the day, although some was generated with the usual brain fade when the bunch is riding slowly together. Some bumps and bruises then for Francis de Jeux, Clement Davy, a burger on his backside as he got himself back in. And everyone else was kind of wondering when this headwind would end. The answer was with around 25 kilometres to go, but until that point, it almost looked like a Sunday afternooner. So relaxed was it, we were wondering about the pace, and the answer came from our leader, Jasper Philipson, about running pace. Well, it would get an awful lot quicker after the turn. A block headwind was suddenly going to change to a crosswind, and with the high buildings offering up some protection on the run for home, Really, it was all about our final corner. There would be a race to it. 1,200 metres from home, a significant right-hander, and if you are in the right place, up towards the front, you had a chance. Everyone knew it, and they were investing some a little bit too early. Groupama Francis de Jeux were there. Likewise, Team Bike Exchange was starting to mob the road with 10 to go. Ineos Grenadiers getting themselves into position. No sign, really, of Alpacin Phoenix, and none either of Quickstep Alpha. They were keeping their light under a bushel until the very end. Well, with a big highway about to compress into a very distinct right-hander, Israel Premier Tech bossed it into the corner. As we emerged, all of a sudden, Francis de Joe was still intact. Mark Cavendish was also in the frame. Jesper Phillips in his red jersey screened at this point, and looking very good indeed, Sam Bennett. Well, Bennett was boxed in, Cav took to the front, Philipson and his red jersey suddenly emerged as well and in the end it was a two-up sprint for the line and Mark Cavendish was to take it. Fantastic form by the Manxman. Absolute delight for him and upset for a few others. Demar not with the happiest of endings to a, a busy day. Third home, Pascal Ackerman for UAE Team Emirates. Well, wondering what he might have done. Not much against Mark Cavendish in this kind of mood. He taking it ahead of Phillips and Ackerman. Coy up there, Demar rounding out the top five. Cav, as usual, offering up his thanks immediately to those who'd helped, none more effectively than Michael Murko. Philipson still leads ahead of Strakov with his bonus seconds assembled yet again out in the break. Tomorrow, it's time trial time, however. And Philipson, well, it may well be he hands over the jersey. We shall see in the nine-kilometre run around Ajman.